The following is an original audio series from Sierra International Machinery, Pile of Scrap, with your host, John Sacco. Welcome, everybody. This is a mini episode of Pile of Scrap, and I have a message somewhat urgent to all the members in the recycled materials industry in North America. Yesterday, I returned home from Copenhagen, where they had the BIR convention, the Bureau of International Recyclers. And so I sat on a panel a Monday afternoon with a commissioner from the EU, the European Union, and they were putting out their regulations for the shipments of our commodities in our industry for iron, recycled iron and steel, for recycled copper, aluminum, paper, stainless, everything we process and more, right? So in the EU, they have made a simple distinction that is just absolutely the scariest thing I've ever heard. That our commodities, our raw materials, is waste. End of story. There's no going back in the EU and changing the definition to a commodity. It is a waste. And because it's a waste, the EU gets to regulate everything about it. And it's gotten to the point that they're regulating where you can ship your recycled materials, your commodity. So if you're in the EU and you have a company and you're a processor, if you want to ship your materials to what they call a non-OCD country, which has something to do with the Basel Convention about receiving waste, quote-unquote waste, regardless if you're shipping copper, it's still waste, regardless of the value. A country, a mill in a non-OCD country in Asia, in India, Africa, the Middle East, and so forth and so on, they have to receive permission from the EU to import a raw material, a commodity. If you ship this commodity without the proper um, permission, you will get fined. And the craziest thing about this, when you sit there, I sat there on stage, and I listened to this lady say the word waste probably 15 times. And people in the audience would come up to me afterwards and said, you cringed every time she said the word waste. Yeah, because it's the scariest damn thing I've ever heard. Because once you deem a commodity waste, the government completely owns you. And this message you need to understand the importance of this message. Here in America, we don't, we don't have that problem. But here in America, we will have that problem if we continue to use the wrong words, because words matter. How we describe what we are in this industry, how we are a raw material supplier and we're not a quote-unquote scrap. You know, there's still pushback. And people say, oh, no. well, here's the thing. Use bad words bad things are going to happen to you. The EU is a classic example. And I think that when you look at the fact that they're writing rules now and they still don't know what they're writing the rules on and the BIR is not even at the table to help them understand what an erroneous rule could be. And I said to the lady, because there was an example, and she was so happy to tell us that they resolved an issue quickly that was that result took seven months for the shipper out of europe to ship cardboard occ to a mill in india seven months and and so what i said to her i said so you're going to force countries and mills that use raw materials commodities the recyclable that They can't buy from the closest market that has the most sense logistically. You're going to force them to go out there and buy from people who can ship them, and they might have to spend more money, which is going to cause for, you know, shipping coming from farther away areas, which will burn far more CO2 emissions, right? So actually, they are going to penalize Mother Earth through what they're doing, and I think that's crazy. They're not going to allow a country to import where they want to. They're going to tell them where you have to. And that's going to affect the economic 
situation in, in a country that may be a third world country or whatever, it's going to hurt that mill, which is going to hurt their employees, which is going to hurt a nation as a whole. And I think that it's important we understand something. This is a lie that has been perpetrated on the kids of America today, that recyclables come from waste. When I went to the classroom and had a, um, a session with kids in a STEM program, and I had them read their two-paragraph papers about what they thought recycling was, they all said the same thing, that recyclables come from waste. So they have been fed the big lie, and we need to start debunking the big lie now. This is something we can't wait to do. ISRI rebranded to REMA, the Recycled Materials Association. And I think it was a great move because words matter. But when somebody asks you who's not in our industry, what do you do? And you say, I'm in the scrap business. Now we have a problem. Because they're spreading, oh, the scrap, scrap is waste. And so this is why you have to hear this. We have to start now. We have to start projecting who we are through our words and through our actions. And this goes to our facilities. What do our facilities look like? A big junkyard, a big waste facility? Or does it look like a manufacturing facility, organized, clean, and it has purpose? Well, I submit to you, we have to start now, everybody. It doesn't happen overnight. We don't change it overnight, but we have to start today. We have to start making our efforts every day to project the image of who we are, what we post on the internet of who we are, and we have to keep the message going. We have to educate our policymakers because so many people don't know what we do. The docu-series repurpose that we did really helped change a lot of people's perception of our industry, but it's such a small segment. We've only reached 50,000 people, maybe, maybe 80,000 people. We need to start spreading the message faster and quicker. So, you know, when people say, why is this important? Because if a country, if we're not allowed to ship our recycled products, what's that going to do to our ability to stay profitable in a free and fair trading environment? It's going to reduce our profitability. And if it reduces our profitability, it's going to cost us the ability to invest in our operations. Without profits, you can't invest. You can't become more efficient. And this is why this is important. We can't allow the government to take control of who and what we are and create a lie because it fits their political expediency. I'm scared to death of what I saw. And I'm scared to death because a lot of people like some of the regulations that come out of the EU in North America, be it Canada, Mexico, or America. We can't allow this. Do I sound alarmed? I am. Because what I heard, if it comes to America and comes to North America, will change this industry forever and will be a detriment to the people in this industry. And I would hate to see that. I don't want it to affect my family business. I don't want it to affect your family business. This is real. This is the truth. This is what is happening now in Europe. Let us not let it happen to us here in North America. So I want to thank you for listening to this, but be alarmed. Take action. Help change the narrative through words, through image, and through action. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day, and keep spreading the word about the recycled materials industry. Thank you. It's been another episode of Pile of Scrap. This has been a Sierra International Machinery original audio series. Thanks for listening. Please share this podcast and make sure to subscribe.